Okay, I am going to give this a try. This is a drawing I did a little while ago, and I kind of like her. I'd forgotten that I did it. I do so many drawings. Quite often I just sit on the couch at night when we're watching TV and I just sketch. So I just watched a fabulous video and uh, I'm inspired. This is actually, uh, it's called Canva paper and it's for doing acrylics, but I'm going to do a bottom layer on this of watercolors. So let's start, uh, let's get some green on here. We're going to do green eyes. I'm going right over the pencil. See if it works on here. Might not take on this particular material. Not too sure. We'll just go over the whole eye. All right. And I think next. Take off some of this pencil. So I'm removing my my shading. Don't need all that. All right, that'll do for now. So let's get some colors mixed. I've got some Naples yellow right here, which is kind of a cool color. And let's mix it with a little bit of this rose. And I'm gonna put some water on there. too bad. And I'm just watering this and spreading it. Now this is not watercolor paper that I'm painting on. Okay, a bit more, a little bit, a little bit more rosy here. Now we'll see what happens. Okay, I haven't done this before, guys, so it's a challenge, and we're both doing it together. <clears throat> there we go. Just coloring the whole face with watercolors. And then uh, once I get all the color down, then you go back in and you fix it before you put down... Um, uh, the acrylics. Sorry, senior moment there, guys. All right, and let's see a bit more on her forehead. What's it showing up? Yeah, trying to keep me out of the frame here. All right. Add some water. And a little bit more pink up there. I'm going to put a little bit more pink over on this side here. Okay. And then a bit more on this side. Okay. And this in here. I kind of like this drawing. Probably should have copied it before I started painting, but oh well. You know, sometimes you do a drawing and you go, oh, that one's really nice. I like that. 
and then you paint it and it's completely mess it all up. So it's always good to trace your drawings. Have a trace of them and that way uh, if you don't like the outcome after you've done this you've got the original uh, drawing traced on some tracing paper and then you can put it on whatever you want. Uh, I try to remember to do that. Sometimes I forget. Okay, let's go in and I'm trying out these cheap brushes I just bought. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to put a little bit of pink in here. Oh, I think that's a bit too pink. Once you start putting on your um, acrylics, a lot of these colors will disappear. I'll see that kind of ran underneath there. Give it a bit more pink. Corners of your eyes are kind of this pink color, but we can also go over that. And it won't be quite so strong. Okay. Let's give her some lips. Okay. Just wet my brush and cleaned it. And now it's just just to move the paint around. I have the hardest time with mouths. I don't know what my problem is, but I always make a mess of them. This one looks pretty good though. What do you think? Okay. Just pushing the watercolor around with a clear brush. It's clean. Just has water on it. So this is just our basis uh, bottom layer. And I'm going to go with this. Let's see this color. Mm, that's a little too potent. Don't like that. Go back to my big brush. It's a turquoise that I'm using. And I think I'm going to go grab a little bit more, but not quite so strong this time. There you go. Rinse off the brush, and then you can kind of move the paint around and lift it a little bit. I'm going to go back in and lift and then lift here. This is just with a barely wet brush. Makes it more interesting. Okay. Not quite dry. I'm going to drop some pink in those cheeks. Okay. Looks a little outrageous. So I'm just using the straight pink, mixing it with the under color. There you go. And then you want to use a uh, color for blue, a uh, blue. Um, French Ultramarine is a good one for shadows. Let's see. Let's mix it with a little bit of that. 
tone it down a little bit. And there's your shadows. And then here. Okay. And then just blend those a little bit. If you can hear the rain but it's just pounding down i'm on the oregon coast and boy the winter is here it rains a lot okay and then the other thing you can do too is just get your paper towel i'm just going let's lift it a little bit like that That is okay. All right, looks kind of weird, but that's to be expected. If it was on watercolor paper, it'd be a whole different ball game. Mm, let's see. I'm going to put some pink on here. Bright pink. There we go. And let's mess with those eyes a little bit. And then when that's dry, you can go in with a dark color and do the irises. Now, let's see. Is that turquoise? I'm going to put a whole bunch of water with it. And I'm going to use it on her, her lids. kind of run that around a little bit okay well there you go I think that's about it for now because it's not drying very quickly All right, uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see me finish this in acrylics, or I could redraw her and do her over again in watercolors. I'm just kind of swirling my paint brush. It's got mostly water on it. I've already laid down the green and I'm letting it blur the line between the iris and the pupil. 
We'll see how that looks. I'll go back and a bit more in here. Hmm. One eye is definitely big. And then we have to fix it. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. It can be fixed with the acrylics. Okay, so I'm just going in here and just kind of see that? Letting it smudge. And I did the irises, uh, not the iris, the pupil with um, Payne's Gray. So that's what we've got kind of smearing around here. Yeah, I can make this um, this iris a bit smaller using some acrylic white. Go over that. Let's see if we can change this right here. So what I'm doing is lifting. I say I've never done watercolors on this paper before so this is uh, new to me so we're going to lift that up and I'm going to make this uh, this in iris smaller let's see there we go look at that it just came right up What we want is it to be a little, a little smaller. Okay, that looks better. <sighs> All right. Well, let's let that dry. And I'm going to go into this. Daniel Smith Red. And just add a little bit there. Oh, too much water on my, my brush. So I'm just kind of pulling it down. marking it yeah all right we'll go back in with some green on those eyes and this is sap green it's my Daniel Smith and I'll do that all over again Okay, let's put a little bit more on the other side, too. Make the green a little bit more intense. There we go. Might be a little too intense. And if you go over your, um, your iris, it's no big deal, because you can just go back in with that. It's dark. And like I said, I use the Payne's Gray for that. Okay, let's use some um, mix up a little bit of I think it's oh raw sienna. And I'm 
doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to have um, acrylics over top of it. All right. Uh, what color? Hmm. I'm going to give her... All right. All right. That is really bright. <laughs> it's really bright. Okay, so there we got this one here. There we go. That's the kind of color I want. It's more like that one. And then if you don't like the color, just water it down. And lift it off. That comes right off. There we go. Look at that hair. Yeah, I think I left all my watercolor brushes at home, so that's why I'm using just this one. I thought I was going to just do swatches today. Okay. So it gives you an idea what you can do. I kind of like the red side. I'm going to throw some red in here. Just using the very tip of my brush. And quite often I turn the piece around. Helps to get into some of those other spaces there. Some pretty intense eyebrows. Okay. All right. I am going to. Okay, that's dry. And I'm going to put a little bit of Payne's Gray over those pupils. Remember, this is just an underpainting. Before applying acrylics, I will apply two coats of workable fixative, which will seal the watercolor in. I will put up the next video in a few days, so subscribe and ring the bell so you will be notified when it's uploaded. Thank you for watching and supporting my art. It means a lot to me. I hope you have picked up a few tips. See you in the next video.